Oh man, I got this rehearsal. They're new learners. It's too many notes for them. I should have just done one voice per staff or something. I wish I had a magic wand. What can I do? Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back. Jim here. Hope everyone is doing well and making great music. I do not have a magic wand. I wish I did. It would speed up our engraving, composing, and whatnot, arranging. But if you have not used MuseScore selection filter integrated with the inspector, you're in for a real treat because it can speed up your workflow. And we're just gonna to touch upon a little bit today. And make sure you watch near the end of the video because I have something else to share as well. So let's go. All right, we got the selection filter time. We're gonna go ahead and hide voices two and three. So we're gonna pick a phrase, the first four measures will do, and then you're gonna press F6. If you forget F6, no problem. Just go to the View tab and you'll find it there. When you open this up, you'll see everything checked off. You want to go ahead and check All again and then select what you want to modify. So I'm going to select Voices 2 and 3. I think that's what I said. It is now, right? So we are now going to go back to the phrase and you're going to highlight the same phrase and then F8. One more step. Set Invisible. Voila! Pretty cool. I love it. Hey, real quick, sorry to interrupt. If you're finding value out of my content, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. All right, this is really cool. I hopefully that when you learn about this, if you haven't learned about this yet, you're gonna be like, yeah, or something like that. What we're gonna do is you see the voices there. Each voice will represent a staff if you wish. What we're gonna do is go to file and then after file, click on parts. And then up here, click on all parts, highlight piano. We'll click this three times. Here's the important part. We're gonna just make sure we have voice one checked. So we're gonna uncheck these. So think of that as the first staff. And then that's the second staff and so on. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Now don't panic. You just have to find the tab. It's right here where it says piano. You can go ahead and change these. So that's super easy. And if you don't know the shortcut for stems down, it is X. So that is easy to do. What do you think? Leave a comment below. I think it's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully it was beneficial for you. Let me know how it works out in the comments below or if you have any questions. Until next time, happy music making.